Hello everyone, this is just a quick video showing how accurate the Trigigarse Rafter Square really is, especially the one and a half inch sets that you can see with the calipers here, it's an absolute one and a half uh, inches. So you can see that it's super precise. This is what we manufacture on a really expensive milling machine. So we make sure we get that right. The whole design philosophy of Trigic Tools is to remove all error from the tool and like the mass produced stuff you can get and that's what you're paying for. So this just addresses a video that uses the one and a half inch sets for wall studs and somehow ended up with uh, cumulative error. I want to show you how the design of the Trigic Square means you can use any marking implement and that's important because it's not just roofers that use these. We have metal workers, fabricators, bench joiners, just to name a few. And they'll need to use a different marker depending on the material they're working with. Cumulative error shouldn't occur if the tool is used how it's designed and so to help with that here's just a quick explanation. Everyone will know how you end up with cumulative error. The lead of this pencil is 2.8 millimeters, so if you mark your first line and shuffle the tool along you, but you ignore the dimension of your marker you're introducing error. Uh, what's more, if your pencil is blunt or your angle of your pencil is slightly wrong, you can make that error even bigger. And the more sequential marks you make, the more you add to that error. So to counteract that error, you either use a super sharp pencil or you use a one third scribe notches on the one and a half inch line to cover the line that you made previously and line it up like this. So if you can see all of the line that you previously made and it's depicted here in the drawing, then you're increasing the distance to the next line that you make, thus increasing the error. So you can see that's depicted by the red and the green line. By covering the line up to the edge, you remove the error introduced by the diameter or thickness of the marking implement that you're using, be it a pica or a scribe or an engineer's pencil. So here are a couple of unedited demonstrations. If you want to be quick, you can, or if you want to be more precise and take more time, you can do that too. The main point here is that we've not accounted for the thickness of the marker in the design of the tool, because if we did that, you would always have to use that same marker. And so with this, I've just um, made these scribes, these lines, they have laid this out just exactly as it was in the video that was posted online. And this shows by doing it this way, you get precisely the measurement that you're looking for. So this is six inches and they're one and a half inch separate, uh, in one and a half inch intervals and by using it this way it's the only tool out of the three that you can use any implement like this because you always cover the line uh, that you make using those one third raft scribe notches and it's really quite simple you can uh, even use it with uh, a super precise uh, engineer's pencil uh, this one's 0.7 mil thick lead and again it's the same uh, rule obviously the initial error that you introduce here is going to be smaller because the pen the pencil lead is smaller the diameter of that is smaller but it is still there, so you have to account for that each time you shuffle the tool along. And so I can do this, it's quite quick. I've obviously tried to do this with a, a camera next to my shoulder and the lights on the other side, so it's quite tricky. Um, but you can see here, and I'll get the ruler again. So this is um, a, a Mitutuya ruler. The, the marks are quite difficult to see, so I've also put on the more and right ruler which is an industry standard for engineers it's uh, super precise and we use this quite a lot just to double check some of the work that we do uh, again this is unedited so i haven't uh, made these out or marked these out beforehand you can see this is exactly how i've done it i'm trying to take the camera here off so it's quite shaky uh, and then get it into focus it can be quite tricky so there's your first mark, it's the last mark that I made, but I've just put the ruler end up to that. And then you can see there, one and a half inches, three inches, uh, four and a half. And then I think I skipped past the six inch because I can't quite see with the light and the small monitor. But the point here is that the tool is super precise. We CNC machine these on a vertical machining center and the, 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 the way that cumulative error is introduced is purely by the user or the lead, uh, the thickness of the implement that you use. Um, and the best way to counteract that is to use those scribe notches as depicted in the in the previous graphic. Um, and you, and it's, it's a brilliant, simple way of using it. So here I use a scribe, uh, a metal scribe. And so this is probably the most precise of the lot because the tip of this is really, really pointy. Uh, so you can get right into the corner. The same rule applies. You just move it across uh, and get that line just right where the green line would have been on the animation. Uh, move it along and there you go and we'll get the ruler out again. The same thing, put it onto the tip. I pressed quite hard on the, using the scribe because I wasn't sure if the camera would pick it up, but I've got the marks in the middle of them. 
you can see there there's one that's the end one and I put the ruler straight up to this again this is the more and right ruler as you can see there's no issues there um, and hopefully that will um, help anybody that uses the tool to, to do stud marking